Hi, so my name is Prem Asim Jain and in this uh, uh, lecture we learn about uh, what is a synchronous or non-blocking concept of uh, JavaScript or um, in general in any languages. So why uh, JavaScript became so popular or Node.js became so popular because it has something which is called as callbacks. Callbacks means uh, the asynchronous or non-blocking behavior. So if we talk in term of uh, PHP or other languages, they were blocking the control flow will stuck to a particular line until and unless that function is not completed, it would not go to the next line. So that is why uh, if something one thing even one thing is taking time, uh, whatever thing which follows after that, which is very you know uh, fast, that doesn't gets executed, and that was. Uh, uh, creating dead slow responses in application so in javascript uh, uh, node.js it would uh, if we understand about control flow so it would go execute all the functions and then it would wait for the response in a callback as soon as the response comes up or the response is ready that time uh, the uh, the final execution happens and this happens in a event loop so event loop means uh, it would run function A then it would go to function B and function C. Let's say function B uh, gets finished quickly then callback function of function B gets executed A and C are still waiting. So it is time sharing uh, uh, fundamental we can just think of it. So asynchronous uh, this is something which is you know uh, kind of asynchronous flow control examples so here uh, the example has been given uh, so we have a function which has a callback and callback function is nothing else but uh, once the main uh, response comes that time the callback function would get executed so I'll give you one example is uh, mm, let's say if you want to execute uh, if you want to retrieve uh, uh, 10 products from database uh, and then you have to retrieve the uh, uh, credit card banking information in the following function so this is function 1 just imagine and this is function 2 so if it is a sequential programming language it would block for until and unless you don't uh, get the 10 objects uh, um, your function will not go to the bank account uh, retrieval function altogether but here it would go it would start uh, it and it would uh, start asking that uh, whatever web service which provides you the 10 uh, products on your website or your, on your commercial online selling website and then uh, it would wait as so, so uh, there are some codes for uh, asynchronous 1 2 3 4 there are something 1 is ready 4 is uh, the response is there and there is uh, they are mapped basically so if there is error uh, or whatever so uh, uh, in build uh, javascript will keep checking it will go uh, execute this function for retrieving the uh, um, 10 objects and then the control flow will go here it would start and uh, it would start uh, getting the bank detail information and then it would go let's say if bank information comes previous than this it would execute the line whatever you need to do with the bank details and that thing will get executed in the callback function however so it's a callback means uh, you call the function and function uh, when whenever it is ready it uh, calls you back to get executes so you don't you are not waiting you are not holding up yourself and this happens in a time sharing mode which is called as the event loop so uh, uh, there is something which is called as event event uh, is kind of a subscription model uh, you subscribe to some event so if you are uh, having some basic javascript background you might have understood that there is on click event so whenever uh, the click happens on that div or uh, span or um, whatever is your uh, element then something will happen you can say on mouse over so mouse over is event so javascript uh, emits event for whatever activity happens 
and uh, based on the event whenever uh, you're listening to your event uh, if that thing happens the event gets captured and based on that the program would get execute so this event says okay bank bank has responded no bank has responded no so it would say the event no no bank hasn't responded yet bank has responded yes so as soon as it's get yes in another cycle your banking uh, function will uh, do its job until and unless it's not doing its job control flow will check for uh, the products has it come no has it come yes so that's how uh, the same thread or same processing is uh, getting uh, you know dis uh, divided uh, uh, it's getting parallel basically parallelism we can think of the two program programs are two functions are executing simultaneously and as soon as they are ready the event says okay it's now ready and uh, your callback function listens okay now it's ready now let me do my job so you can write 10 functions on the same uh, file or page and 10 of them can execute simultaneously uh, and uh, as soon as uh, the progress is made on each of them they will do their job and uh, this is the magic of javascript or asynchronism or we also called as ajax however if this thing doesn't happen the asynchronous behavior like in php and other languages until and unless first function doesn't work program will not even start going to the second uh, uh, function or the third function that is first drawback second drawback if in the sequential flow you are going you're not which is called as a blocking flow this what i explained before is non-blocking so if you are going in a blocking way there are 10 functions and second function uh, you know gives error and there is some problem with that rest of the function might not get executed at all um, if there is not proper error handling or whatever in general scenario however here if you even don't have that uh, the, the proper error handling or whatever you say from programmer side uh, you execute 10 function 10 of them will execute simultaneously apparently simultaneously however if second fails it doesn't uh, you know bothers third or fourth or the following functions to get them executed so that is how this uh, event loop uh, really works and uh, we'll also see as we progress the code how basically that uh, um, is executed or works in the code itself so um, this is one now in next next lecture we will try to understand uh, on what all scenarios the node is ideal to be used and in what all scenarios it is not uh, ideal to be used basically cpu heavy applications are written mainly in golang or some other languages uh, however the languages which are not cpu heavy but which tend to have more uh, input output bond they are preferred to be written in node.js and node is a single threaded uh, and uses a concurrent model based on the event loop it is non-blocking so it doesn't make the program wait but instead it registers a callback and let the program continue this means it can handle concurrent operations without multiple thread of execution so it can scale pretty well. Yeah, so this is about it and thanks for watching.